morning, chefies. Um, I thought I'd show you guys what my bed look like. This is what it look like when I wake up in my bed. Welcome to Atlanta, shouty. Oh, look, it's so beautiful. God is so amazing, right? Look at, look at the sky. Look at the sun coming up. I'm so thankful and grateful. I'm so blessed. God is so good. Not only do I thank God for where I am and the type of life that I'm able to lead, but I thank God for my health, that I'm able to wake up in a healthy body and a healthy mind, and I've survived so many different things, and, and I'm still standing, man. I just be thanking God for, for, for seeing me through, you know, even my own demons and my own problems. God has seen me through. Birds, I ain't seen birds in a minute. Oh, they flying. Um, but yeah, today is going to be a day of beauty for me because I'm looking crazy and, um, Chalky is never far. Chalky, Chalky, you ignore mama. You going to get a bath today, boy. You getting a bath. Mommy doing some deep conditioner, facial stuff. Going to get, get a pedicure, but yeah, we going to show... We gonna show the chefies what you gonna look like when you fly after your bath. We are, we are. And then mommy's gonna do a deep conditioner on her hair. She is, yeah. So y'all haven't really seen me in my natural state, meaning without my ponytail. See my hair is shorter and curly. Two summers ago, I shaved my head. So it's taken me two years just to get this little bit of, this little bit of crop, okay? But it is growing, thank God. Bald no more. I looked good with the short hair, but I will never cut my hair off again. So I'm gonna do a deep conditioner today with the facial, and I'm about to show you guys the products that I'm gonna use. Talk to y'all a little bit about those. Uh, get my dog a bath. Show y'all what Chalky look like when he's flying fresh and fluffy. And um, I'm gonna do a tarot pull for the first week. I'm gonna give y'all content every day, even if it's just a little bit. And then next week, we're going to phase into just three episodes a week or three vlogs a week. I don't know. What, it, what is this? You know, I'm going to give y'all something to tune into three times a week starting next week. But for this week, I'm going to keep posting every day. So y'all got something so y'all can get a better feel for me. And then then we going to move into a different transition. You, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so I'm about to walk into my bathroom and we're going to get into the products. Okay. I sat for a second though. Whoa. It, it, wow. Or no, sunrise. <laughs> it's definitely not setting. It's definitely rising. Whoa. It's going to be a beautiful day. You know what's funny is that this sun is out beaming today and it's still going to be freezing. It's been like 20, 29, 32 degrees out here. You know, like I thought the South was supposed to be warm. You know what I'm saying? It's like feeling like New York up in this piece. <sighs> so, yeah, in my little bathtub, got my little crystals going on. I'm going to do an amethyst scrub. Y'all know what amethyst is? The crystal, the purple crystal. Oh, wait. This is from Herbivore. It's an amethyst crystal scrub. It literally has the crystals in it. Um, So I say mantras and prayers for the day and scrub this on my body. It smells bomb. Urban War got some amazing products, okay? And ain't nothing I'm saying sponsored yet. Ain't nobody giving me nothing free or no check yet, but it's coming. You know what I'm saying? Urban War, y'all got some stuff. I'm with it. I'm with it, okay? So they also have this rose quartz body, body polish that I'm going to put on from Urban War. This little body oil is so yummy. Rose quartz, another crystal. So y'all know, or y'all gonna understand, I'm really into the crystal game. And then this is a cannabis sativa herb deep moisture glow oil. So I rub this on my shoulders and my hands after my lovely bath soak. Um, and of course, um, where would I be without Florida water? Duh. Okay. So pharmacy is one of my favorite facial cleaning lines and facial product line so um this is just the flake facial cleanser and then this will be the mask that i'm doing today it's a honey potion this is a renewing antioxidant mask um it makes my face very 
soft and it's so creamy. This one actually heats up on your face once you put it on. Again, this is from Pharmacy. And then um, I'm going to use Pharmacy's moisturizer. And then for my deep conditioner today, well, for my wash, I'm going to use Tina Pearson's shampoo and conditioner. I'll leave her conditioner on for about two hours. And then when I rinse it out, I'm going to do this Moroccan hyd hydration deep conditioner mask. And this is just going to stay on my hair for till tomorrow. And I'll wash it out tomorrow. Um, and I'm going to pick one of these little bomb bath bombs to use on top of Epsom salt because I soak in an Epsom salt bath every day. Every day y'all see me, I done soaked in a bath before I go work out because my body is like, you know you're 37, um, but you working out like you 19. Why you working out like you a teenager? Because, because you guys, y'all don't know, but a year ago I was 197 pounds okay 197 pounds yes I was the slim fat president I could hide my weight you can see I was out of shape but you couldn't see how bad I was like a roly-poly I'm telling you it was that cute I'm gonna see if I could pull a picture and post that so y'all can see what time it is so you guys can see how far I've come okay and I know you guys want me to get the tripod I'm ordering everything today. I had other stuff to do. And editing these videos, all this stuff, this is, this is very time consuming. This is like another job. This is not even another job. I don't even know what I signed up for, you guys. But I'm going to do the best that I can, always. I'm going to always put my best foot forward. So let's get into my day of self-care. Yeah, get into it, baby. Okay, we're going to get into it. And since I'm talking to y'all about beauty products today, um, this is my homegirl Paige's line of wipes. These are bomb organic wipes made with bamboo or something like that. But it's healthy, right? So I use these wipes dang near every day to take my eye makeup off. It never causes eye irritation and it never causes irritation on my face when I wipe my face. These wipes are bomb and Paige is black. Paige is black. Support black business. I'm all for supporting black business. You need some little face wipes. You need something to wipe yourself down. You get some fresh page, all right? Her Instagram, F-R-E-S-H-P-A-I-G-E. Fresh page. Get you some wipes from page, okay? It's bomb. I do not support or endorse anything that I don't really use. Uh, I'm not one of those people. I'm not one of those types. It, um, they are scent free. Let me see with the back of it. Let me see one that's not messed that I didn't rip. Uh, no added perfumes or fragrances. It's PA, pH balanced and hypoallergenic. Okay. Purified water, vegetable glycerin. So coconut oil. These are witch hazel. These are all words that I can understand. Nothing, nothing foreign. Paige, man, this is so dope, man. You, you, you're in production, baby. I'm so happy for you. Y'all go check her out, all right? We need to support black business. We got to support one another. The big brands don't need our money. The big brands don't need our money. We need our money. Keep it in rotation, baby. Black business matters. And so does black girl magic. i show you guys uh, what this is down here. I'm... In the middle of redecorating so i have to build an altar in my room but this is my mama and this is her ashes some of them i take some of them with me around the country and spread her ashes everywhere plus the ones that are in my dragonfly pendant um and this is her water offering and of course i always have a prayer candle lit um for the altar this is a dragonfly gift that I bought her the year before she passed away. And this is my daddy who was murdered when I was eight years old. Um, he was buried, so I don't have any ashes for him. And I always keep his water right here. And this is my little sister, Shada Nalani, um, who was murdered this summer um she was killed by a dui driver 
I'll get into that more when I feel like talking about it. Um, this is her water offering in the altar. They get the new water every single week with new prayers. And this is my grandma, Evelyn Berg, born in 1923. This is the woman that taught me how to cook. I never used a microwave because she never used a microwave. She never believed in them. White lady, born in 1923, taught me how to cook everything from scratch. I owe my culinary career to this woman right here. She saved me. My grandma saved me. She really brought me in the kitchen to keep me out of trouble because I was bad. And, you know, when I want to talk about my early childhood trauma and what happened to me, I will. But she brought me into the kitchen to keep me out of trouble and to calm me down. The kitchen was my safe space, my safe haven. The kitchen saved my life. This woman, I love you so much, Grandma, and I miss you. She died. When did she die? She died in 2010. Yep, 2000. Oh, no, 2009. Yeah, crazy. But, yeah, these are all my angels. All my angels that honor, protect, and look over me, guide me every single day they are never far all right I know about y'all <laughs> but the people at the corner store and my concierge be seeing me looking any kind of way and i guess y'all about to be seeing me look any kind of way too because mimi said that i'm supposed to be very personal and you guys like to see us in our natural state so y'all gonna see y'all gonna see okay i'm looking crazy uh no bad vibes okay no bad vibes the color purple this shirt is from Gordon Gatroyd. Gordon Gatroyd. I think that's how you say it. He's on Instagram too. And Chalky. Chalky stay with a jacket on. So he got his leather, his leather uh, aviator jacket on. He's fly. About to take him for a walk before I get into my beauty routine. My dog gotta pee. My dog gotta pee. He gotta go potty. He gotta go potty. He's over me. He's over me too. But it's okay. It's okay. Because we giving my chefy some content for the day. He just, he just want to go pee. He's like, Mom, I, I really don't care what, what, what you're talking about right now. No, don't run in the room. Okay, because we got a tripod. I couldn't show you guys me washing my hair, but I shampooed and put the conditioner for the Tina Pearson Curls line. This is the best curl line product be, besides, I think it's organics um, as far as curl uh, products go. Um, this one is amazing and it's black owned, you know, I'm always going to be supporting that black girl magic and now I'm about to wash my face with the pharmacy clean bee, uh, face wash. Um, and I'm also going to use this little facial scrubber thing. And I mentioned on my Instagram yesterday that my home girl chef tina gray of once on the menu she lives in la right now but um she's from chicago my daddy's from the south side of the shy so i love i love people from chicago 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 is chicago is a part of me you know, it's in my blood it's in me it ain't on me you know what i'm saying but anyway tina is always posting her little in instagram uh stories using this on her face right and i've had one of these for four years this one has been with me for four years moved with me from different states and i never took it out the box right so i said something on my instagram yesterday to tina about you know understanding her influence you know and you know like that's powerful that you're just you know doing your everyday routine just posting your stuff and you're inspiring and encouraging other people to follow suit so now this is a part of my daily facial routine is using this and my skin has been looking really good lately and um i think that that has a lot to do with my diet it's a lot of celery juice and you know i juice a lot period and i drink water i don't keep um any store-bought juice in my house if i want orange juice or apple juice i make it um yeah uh unless i'm gonna make 
cocktails for company uh because i don't drink i don't drink alcohol anymore thank god that part is my life is over uh i'm coming up on uh seven months eight months so i'm gonna be eight months sober in a week no alcohol um yeah so so this is done and then i'm about to wash this off and put the the pharmacy honey potion mask on y'all just gonna have to bear with me with my makeshift uh tripod right now until i get my tripod and i understand my angles and where to look so i see you guys as critiques this is me acknowledging them um we're only on day three uh and i think i'm doing pretty good pretty good you know it's good to give yourself credit you know what i'm saying when you doing something you're supposed to be doing uh and this is new so you yeah. know but i'm gonna master this like i master everything else in my life um okay so this uh the instructions on this says to clean and tone the skin so I'm about to use my witch hazel and witch hazel is the toner that I choose to use. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Sow the seed, clean your face. And they give you, they always give you, pharmacy always gives you this little scooper thing. So you never have to get no bacteria and germs inside of your facial products you know what i'm saying it's important you know you don't want that old you don't know bacteria just floating in your stuff you know then your face really gonna be jacked up so this mask actually heats up when you um rub it in i love it like i said i love their product very bomb stuff that they have Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Uh, whew. My face is already tingling. Already tingling. So I'm going to leave this on for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then oh, we'll take it off. And in those 10 to 15 minutes, I'm about to give Chalky a little bath. I'll tune y'all in to when I'm drying him or something. I don't know. I haven't figured out if I even want to show y'all while I'm washing him because it's a task and I don't have the tripod. So, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. But we gonna see. We gonna see. Give me a minute to figure it out. As you can see, Chalky has had his bath. He just huffed and puffed. I don't know if you guys could hear it. He has an attitude problem. Um, Not really, but, you know, sometimes. He's a little fly guy, though. So I am about to dry him with the hand blow dryer um, on low to medium heat. Definitely not high because, hello, it's not good for the dog. And, um, yeah, I'm about to show you the products that I use and show you uh, me drying him a little bit. And then I'll show y'all when he's fluffed out, stunting out here in puppy land. <laughs> I love you, my little toy poodle. I love you, mama, I love you. Why are you looking crazy? He's like, hurry up and dry me, though. Dry me, ma. Okay. So this is the shampoo that I use, Paul Mitchell's tea tree oil. And then he's going to get a little coconut milk fragrance spray. And this is the brush that I use for his type of fur. Chalky, you are really acting right now. So, I'm going to dry him and get back to y'all. Brushing is the your worst part. You hate this? You fluffy. You looking good. You mad at mamas? Can I brush right here? Trying to bite. What's up? You look good. You could go. Bye. 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 You mad? Use your hands and come yours. Come here. Come. Use your hands. Oh, where'd you go? Well, 
You want the bed? You so handsome. How my babies? How my babies? You letting the people see you? Ooh. Jockey, you so handsome, little boy. Oh, okay. We're done with that now. All right. Okay. Now I'm rinsing the mask off. I'll put some of the moisturizer on. And that is the, I need to get some more. It's almost empty. The pharmacy, hold on. Whatever, I showed y'all in the beginning, but the pharmacy honey drop, uh, moist, lightweight moisturizer. Um, yeah, so that concludes that. I decided to go with the rose sandalwood bath bomb. And I always put some sort of oil, protection oil in my bathtubs and on my body. Today I'm gonna use Lapis Lazul, which is what this crystal is. And I'll tell you more about this crystal later when I read you guys my daily cards, okay? Lapis Lazul, beautiful crystal. And this is like uh, five or six pounds. It's not like, so I told y'all about the herbivore amethyst uh, exfoliant scrub. This is actual, this, this is the amethyst crystal. So that's what, <clears throat> this is what the body polish looks like, body scrub. This is what it looks like in the container. It smells amazing. I just got this, like two weeks ago, I need to buy more. Um, Urban Wars products are so bomb, like, but, you know, the amethyst is a uh, crystal of protection and good health and things like that. So the fact that this is an actual scrub, like, woo! So I just pray over myself and say daily mantras and things of that nature. Um, I don't just do ritual baths. I mean, every day that the water hits me and I'm able to wake up and walk and have good health, that's a ritual and something to be thankful for. So that's my herbivore uh, review for y'all. I'll show you the other products when I get out the bath. All right. So my hair is dry and I use the Tina Pearson, um, what is this, a hydrating curl definer. And I prefer to let my hair, my hair air dry because the curl pattern looks better to me. And I really don't like wearing my hair out and curly because uh, the length is still strange. Before I cut my hair or shaved all the sides off and cut it into a fade, shout out to Gaucher, Gaucher Salon out here in Atlanta. Uh, my curls were down to here and I, you know, I went into a design fade for like a year. Mm-hmm, nice little run with a shaved head. Okay, so that's enough about my hair. Now, uh, I'm gonna use the Herbivore Rose Quartz uh, Illuminating Body Oil on my arms and my chest. So, ooh, look at, you can see the Rose Quartz. So, I've got love love protection coming out of me with this crystal um do i have a rose quartz in here i have a rose quartz i it's just not in my bathroom so we will go over rose quartz more another day but it's another crystal um make sure i ain't showing my boobs and shit to y'all um and now i'm gonna use the uh herbivore uh, this they call it emerald and this is a cannabis sativa hemp oil and I'm just gonna it's a they say it's a deep moisture glow so I'm just gonna rub it on my shoulders because um, <laughs> who doesn't want cannabis sativa I mean I just you know they sold me uh, and, and it's bomb so I'm gonna take a little drizz off since I already got the emerald uh, I mean not the emerald but the rose quartz oil uh, and hold on I used Franken Incense Shea Butter on my skin. Y'all didn't see that, but just in case you guys care, I don't, you know, want to forget something. So, 
rub this into my shoulders. And that concludes what I'm sharing with y'all about my beauty routine for today. And we will finish everything off with the reading so I can get in these streets. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I've got work to do. You all. Oh, you know what? I'm going to finish it off with since I use the lapis lazul uh since I use the lapis lazuli oil, I'm going to use this perfume, Atkinson's. It's from Europe. My last name is Atkinson. <laughs> so this um, is called Her, Her Majesty the Ode. So, um, you know, I love being a queen. So, and because it's my last name, I have like so many different um, scents from them, but this one's kind of um, masculine. It smells like amber and sandalwood and um, a little bit of a musk. Um, all right, so we done with the beauty portion, okay? <laughs> all right, chefies, thanks for uh, listening this far. Tarot is next. Okay, so now for the tarot reading. So I've never really shared my tarot, I've done tarot readings on a few friends. Um, tarot is something I do personally for myself. So I always sage, smudge, and pray over my decks. Um, and you know, what's read on the cards is really a pull of your own energy and what's going on within. At least that's what I believe. And so this particular deck is so beautiful. I saw it on Instagram and it's by Jessie Jumanji. And she has like a lot of amazing art just in general. So um, I will make sure I tag her and you guys go check her out. Um, what you guys didn't see, this, this card fell out of the deck on its own. And I like odd numbers. So typically I pull one, three, and very rarely I'll pull five cards. I've never personally pulled more than five. Um, so let's get into it. Um, it's hard to shovel with one hand. So I'm going to actually adjust the camera, figure that out and make a makeshift stand for y'all. So I'm not moving around. So I, clearly I had to move around a bit and adjust so that I could actually shuffle and show you all. So I'm gonna do three shuffles and three splits. Split the deck. I really wish there could be music playing. Um, I don't understand the licensing and those type of things yet or what music is approved, uh, but I will be figuring that out. So, you know, try to interview some artists I know and get, you know, get some stuff going on with the food and the talking about people's projects, you dig? You know what I'm saying? We about to manifest a whole channel, a station, a show somewhere, you know what I'm saying? We gonna be, yeah. So, I think this was five uh, shuffles, so we're good. Um, as I mentioned before, one card fell out of the deck. So, for me, that's going to be the card that has most of the energy pull and will be um, where my energy focus is for the day. So, I'm going to pick this top one as my second energy pull. And my third energy. Okay, now I'm about to show y'all what I pulled. 
Okay, so let's see what I pulled. Most of the energy is going to come up out of this top card. The Seven of Pentacles. And it's in the reversed position, which means we're going to focus on the reversed meaning. I'll tell you what the whole meaning is, but we'll, well, the focus is the reversed meaning. So the Seven of Pentacles is the first card. This is so beautiful. Jesse Jumanji is amazingly talented. Okay, so first card. My second card. The Three of Cups. Again, the reversed meaning, but this is so beautiful. Let's get into this. It's three women. Three women, it will get into exactly what this meaning is, but it's definitely sisterhood. It's chest, not checkers. Okay, and then the final pull. Oh, I flipped this actually. This was another reverse meaning. Wow, all of my cards are reverse meaning today. And this one, the last one is the Five of Cups get into this artwork wow jesse you are so dope the five of cups all right and now i'm gonna take a seat and we will discuss the cards the seven of pinnacles is a card all about uh vision and focus it indicates that you're in a season of reflection, aware, awareness, and perseverance. And it's also showing that you've made a lot of investments in to yourself and you're in a stage of seeing the rewards and the benefits of like all of the hard work. So he signifies that you're like in the season of taking a break and reflecting and being able to see like he worked this whole farm and he has gold flowers. I mean, he's been able to build this up. However, I pulled this as a uh, reverse card. So um, even though everything that I said for this card uh, is true, um, it's also setting forth a warning for me to be mindful um, and to be smart about uh, where I place my money and my energy and it's a warning sign for me to slow down and be slower within my decision making and to take a step back. So it's telling me not to make quick decisions, um, which is good. So this was a bomb card to actually pull. And um, it, my second card was the Three of Cups. Um, and the upright of this is celebration, friendship, creativity, and collaborations. But because I pulled it in the reverse position, it's focusing on independence, alone time, and um, because it's a reverse pull, I also need to make sure that I'm very aware of the long-term repercussions of any decisions um, that I'm making within my lifestyle because whatever decisions that I'm making right now need to be sustainable for the future and I need all the sleep I can get. So the last and final card is the five of cups. So beautiful. So the five of cups uh, represents loss, grief, regret, and, and bereavement. And it can mean loss of money, loss of possessions, loss of relationships, loss of dreams, hopes, and opportunities. And you could be in a, in a pattern or, of loss and sorrow and regret. And um, um, it, it's not really, you shouldn't really be sad a, about it because... Um, it shows that they have five cups and 
and three things are pouring out of three cups, but you still have these two cups that are, are, are helping you fly, you know, like these three cups. Yes. It's some, maybe somebody died. You lost some money, you lost some property and you're sad, but you got your health. And you still got money in the bank to pay your bills. At least for me, this is this is this is what it signifies for me because as I mentioned, I lost my little sister um actually this summer in um June and that really set me back mentally um and emotionally for a minute. And so um I've probably spent since I'd say mid-July all the way up until now making a very conscious decision to focus on my mental, spiritual, and emotional health. Like it's at the top of the list because um, I lost my sister two or three months right after I lost the juice bar location. And I had this location, like I had engineers and architects and things were in motion. And clearly 50, 48 grand was, was, what, was what was spent. And to me, 48 grand is 50. Um, so, you know, and at the time I was devastated when I lost it. I thought my life was over you know I had you know called myself not being a chef anymore and you know I was I was focusing on only cooking whenever I felt like it and you know I was about to ball out on my juice bar and you know it was a really really hard hit and I felt like for a second I lost everything you know but again I still had money in the bank I I I haven't been working because I can afford not to, but it was hard for me to not see that. Oh my God, I still am, I still have a great life. Like I really couldn't see it for a second. And then, you know, two, three months later, when I started feeling okay, my little sister, actually it was a month later. So my sister died in June and it was like, I had just started to be like, okay, I can bounce back from this. And then my little sister died. And it was, it still is very, very hard and a different level of pain that I've never experienced before. But I can feel her with me every day and her power is so strong, you know, it's so strong. And she's given me the power to see what I have, you know, and to be very thankful thankful and I, I've been very mindful to move in the mind state of gratitude and just being like wow like I can walk you know like I have lungs where I can breathe you know losing my mom to cancer always makes me be thankful that I don't have it you know and I know people with terminal illnesses and um uh what do you call those lifetime illnesses that they deal with where they have to deal with pain and inflammation within the body. That's why I'm so focused on um, juicing. But anyway, we'll get back to that on another day. The reversed meeting um, pretty much just says that I'm in a season where I'm ready to heal, which is, which is true. And that I've been through so much pain, loss, and grief that I'm just ready to see the sun, right? And, 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 and now I have the tools because I, I, I stopped long enough to, to, to see these two cups. That's what it is, is I saw the two cups and stopped focusing on what poured, poured out of these cups, you know? And, um, yeah, and this reverse meaning in, in, a, in a, a relationship and friendship pretty much means that it's, it's at a time of, of loss, breaking up, and letting go. Well, so if you're in a season and you need to let go, it's time, baby. And uh, there's Ch Chalky. Chalky. I know you hear me. You always got to make an appearance. You're never far, huh, baby? I love you. Okay, so this was the deck for the day. Uh, these were some bomb. I think that these were some bomb. Uh cards and totally on point for my life I usually read every like I pull every day um maybe I'll do pulls for you all once a week because this is actually very time consuming so maybe I'll do like a Friday tarot Fridays for tarot or whatever um and I have so many different decks so we'll pull from um different decks but again this artist Jesse Jumanji on Instagram, Lord, I mean this talent. Look at this. I mean, just whew, five of cups, 
the Three of Cups. Look at these women, man. And we have the Seven of Pentacles. And this man is thinking about and looking over his harvest, taking a break, relaxing and reflecting. They are plotting, planning, and very fruitful together. Or, since it was flipped, in a season of going it alone. Seeing the fruits of my labor and being content with them, not focusing on the loss, but of all the lessons, because I actually got gold in my garden. And then my time of loss and grief has gotten me through and I still got these two cups and I'm still winning, baby! I'm still winning, baby! And I wanted to show y'all what I'm wearing. I'm headed to get a pedicure because my toes is looking crazy. Um, This is Fly, part of uh, Gabrielle Union's I NY and Company uh, collection. I have been loving these sweatsuits because she really thought about the cut on, you know, a woman. So I love this. It only shows, you know, it moves, it moves when you move. You know what I'm saying? I, I love it, Gab. I love what you're doing here. I love your fashion sense. You know what I'm saying? I'm with it. I'm with it. You know, again, support black women, support black business, support black girl magic. Yeah, yeah. So Gabrielle Union, keep killing them. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm about to head on over and get that pedicure and check in with you guys, my chefies, tomorrow. And then, you know, I'll do a little what I did yesterday, show y'all, you know, what kind of pedicure I got in the color, you know what I'm saying? But y'all be blessed, enjoy this Friday, stay rooted and mindful and gratitude, be grateful for your health, that you woke up, that you walking, that you breathing, that you not dying, that you're not dead, you know what I'm saying? That type of thing, my chefies. Enjoy your day. I will check in with y'all tomorrow.